My name is Tegan and I'm going to be reviewing the Kylie Jenner Birthday Collection Special Edition Pink Ness Wonderful 20th Birthday Collection Kit Stuff. They let the fires under our feet Chase us into the hills Oh, they let the walls off of the leash Should have finished the kill We got ashes on our shoes And an outcast attitude And we're all immune Cause we know the truth is viral These brushes a super soft pastel pink. They work really well, I think. I am kind of in love with this. Screw off the lid and use what's on the lid. And it's super shimmery, so that's why I thought this would be a good idea. And it totes is, but I don't know about the pink tone. Looks weird on skin, I don't know. My favourite thing is the eyeshadow palette and I mean look at these. I want it all. How aesthetically pleasing is that? The pink is so pretty. Also the other ones are like really cool blending ones that just blend with that pink perfectly. Next thing, the minis. They are super small, $36, so that means they're $6 each. A lot of the light colours I just can't wear and they make me look sick looking, which is not cute. Not cute.
so they're just so sticky and like your lips stick together and it doesn't stay it like goes all over your teeth they're not nice at all My favourite thing out of the collection is I Want It All palette. One, it's so cute, except I don't like the writing. It's weird fronted. And then all these colours are so cute, so aesthetically pleasing. It looks good on literally anyone, like it's so bright, so cute. Um. And then all the rest are like colours that you use to like blend, but like I'm not about that life. <laughs> it looks like it says Hello Zoe instead of Hello 20. And my middle name is Zoe, so it looks personalised for me. I hate these minis. They are so small, they are tester sized. And like you have to pay a lot for them because they're expensive because they're Kylie Jenner. Like packaging like there's like three layers of packaging that's like can you not tiny this is the tester sized and they're selling this this is ridiculous this has like four uses and it's done that is not worth like six dollars i'm so mad The mini is 0 0.02 Oz. I'm guessing that means ounce. And the big one is 0 0.11 ounce. Or 0 0.7 grams and 3.0 grams. So, like, math. But at least now I know my favorite colors of them, so that means I can repurchase them from Colourpop bitch. These glosses I thought would be so much nicer than they actually are. They are like I literally have 
this one from Model Co. And it's the exact same. Ugh. Ew. Both of these are so gross. They are just so sticky and they get in your teeth and everywhere. So. Overall, I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I'm posting it so other people can see it and go, okay, it's not that great. Maybe don't buy it next time. But I don't think I like Kylie Jenner collection. I don't know. There's just too, a few too many bad things in it. Like the palette's good. Palette's always good. But I mean, you can get palettes from anywhere. Um, glitter and more glitter. Like, I'm in love. I'm glad I bought these two. And then the rest came in the collection with it. And then I individually purchased this and the brushes. These were a good purchase too. But you can get brushes from anywhere. Like, cheaper probably as well. Um, so yeah, those are just a few of my thoughts. Thanks for listening. Let me just throw some shade. Oh. So all up it was about $260, which is a lot of money. Australian dollars. My name is Tegan and this is the first and last time I'm buying from Kylie Jenner.